Protein is the single most important nutrient for weight loss and improving body composition. The reason is due to several different mechanisms which I'm going to look at in this video. Now after you eat, uh, some of the calories are used for the purpose of uh, digesting and metabolizing the food. This is often termed the thermic effect of food. Now although not all sources agree on the exact figures, it's clear that protein has a much higher thermic effect, about 20 to 30%, uh, compared to carbs which are 5 to 10% and fat which is 0 to 3%. If we go with a thermic effect of 30% for protein, this means that 100 calories of protein only ends up as 70 usable calories uh, in the body. Uh, this in part helps to uh, boost your metabolism. A so-called boosted or increased metabolism uh, helps you burn more calories uh, around the clock. Uh, even when you sleep. Combined with several other factors, a high protein intake has been shown to boost metabolism and increase the amount of calories burned by about 80 to 100 per day. Now by making you burn more calories, high protein diets have uh, a metabolic advantage over diets that are lower in protein. Protein reduces appetite and makes you eat fewer calories. Protein can reduce hunger and appetite via several different mechanisms. Now this can uh, lead to an automatic reduction in your calorie intake, which is really important for weight loss. Numerous studies have shown that when people increase their protein intake, they start eating fewer calories. This works on a meal to meal basis, as well as uh, a sustained day to day reduction in calorie intake, as long as protein intake is kept high. In one study, protein at 30% of calories caused people to automatically drop their calorie intake by 441 calories per day, which is a huge amount. So high protein diets not only have a metabolic advantage, they also have an appetite advantage, uh, making it much easier to cut calories compared to lower protein diets. Protein makes you lose weight and helps you keep it off. Protein works on both sides of the calories in, calories out equation. So it helps you uh, take fewer calories in and helps you push more calories out. For this reason, it's not surprising to see that high protein diets lead to weight loss, even without intentionally restricting calories, portions, fat, or carbs. Now all that being said, losing weight is not the most important factor anyway. It's keeping it off in the long term that really counts. Many people can go on a diet and lose weight, but most end up gaining the weight back. Studies show that a higher protein intake can help prevent weight regain. Now in one study, a modest increase in protein intake from 15 to 18% of calories reduced weight regain after weight loss by 50%. So not only can protein help you lose weight, it can also help you keep it off in the long term. Protein helps prevent muscle loss and metabolic slowdown. This is a really critical point for you to remember. Weight loss does not always equal fat loss. When you lose weight, muscle mass tends to be lost as well. This is a side effect of weight loss you don't want because a loss in muscle mass leads to a reduced uh, metabolic rate or metabolism. So in other words, uh, you end up burning fewer calories than you did before you lost the weight. This is one of the main reasons uh, weight loss plateaus. Uh, your body adjusts to a lower calorie intake by burning fewer calories itself. Now, this is often referred to as uh, starvation mode, which was beneficial back in the hunter-gatherer days when food was scarce. Eating plenty of protein can reduce muscle loss, which should help keep your metabolic rate higher as you lose body fat. Strength training is another major factor that can reduce muscle loss and metabolic slowdown when losing weight. Now, muscle growth is stimulated and supported by protein consumption. So for this reason, a high protein intake and weight training, um, or also known as resistance training, are two incredibly important components of an effective weight loss plan. When it comes to fat loss and building muscle, protein is the king of nutrients. By replacing many foods in your diet with higher protein alternatives, uh, you tip the, the calories in versus calories out balance uh, in your favor. Just keep in mind that calories still count. Now protein can be really beneficial, uh, but you won't lose any weight if you don't eat fewer calories than you burn. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.